Al here and Tucker. He's heading out for his own PE class outside. Today we're going to do some skill work doing some underhand tossing to a target. So here's what we're going to use. We're going to use some little beach balls I've blown up and two tennis balls. And if you don't have these items, you can use some rolls of tape. Anything that's gonna be safe to be able to underhand toss indoors like a ball of socks, or maybe even a small foam ball, or some little figurines if you have them, like a little dinosaur or a character that you can lightly toss underhand. So to get set up, we're going to also need a basket. You can use um, a hula hoop or a laundry basket or a bucket or a really big bowl if you have one. Uh, you can also use tape and just mark out a square on your floor as your target. So we want our target to be on the floor and I'm just gonna take the four balls in my hand and I'm just gonna stand right, by my, right in front of my basket and take one step back and place the ball. Then I'm gonna take another step back and place the next one, and the next one, and the next one. So I'm about five, four or five steps back, all right? So what you're going to do is you're gonna start up close, and you're gonna to toss the ball into the basket, and if you make it, you have to do five jumping jacks and then move back to the next ball. If you toss it and you miss it, you have to do five push-ups. Push-ups can be done on your knees or on your toes. Do the best that you can. So again, if you make the toss, you're gonna do five jumping jacks. And if you miss it, you're just gonna leave the ball where it is and do five push-ups and then move on, okay? So, Put our ball back. And again, you're just gonna move back, 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 all the way to the last one, and you're gonna give it a good toss. Remember, no cheating and picking up the ball and taking a really big step forward. So some tips to remember when you're doing an underhand toss. You wanna take your ball, whatever you're using, your sock or your toy, and if you're right-handed, that means the leg that's by the ball stays still and the opposite foot goes forward. All right, and then you would just swing your arm back and release your arm towards your target. That's called stepping in opposition. That's because we're stepping with the opposite foot. And it works either way. If you're left-handed, just remember whatever leg that the ball is tapping stays still and the opposite leg goes forward swinging your arm back and tossing. So remember, you do kind of want to get low. If your target is low to the ground, like mine is a basket, it's very low to the ground, I kind of want to get low too. So I want to bend your knees, try to get low to the ground and give it a toss. Ooh, I missed, so I would have to do five push-ups. All right, so measure here one step back we'll put it back so I want you to get all your equipment out and I want you to set it up just like this if you have a long hallway this is a good activity to do in a hallway if you don't quite have a living room that's this long or a bedroom that's this long a hallway is a good place to do it or maybe even outside if you have a backyard or some space to use outside so go ahead, press pause, go get all the equipment, and when you come back, hit play and we'll begin, okay? So go on ahead. All right, so you've gotten all your equipment. It should look similar to this setup. You can have four balls, maybe you only have three, or maybe you even have more. Maybe you made a whole bunch of sock balls. So we're just gonna start with this as sort of our warm up. all right? So. We're going to just go until we've tossed all four. Remember, if you make it, do five jumping jacks and go to the next one. If you make it again, 
do five jumping jacks, go to the next one. If I miss, I do five push-ups, and then I go on to the next one. All right, so here we go. Let's start this first round with the closest ball. Stand by your close ball. Get ready, get set, go. Next one. One. All right, so I went kind of fast and I didn't miss any of my first round. So maybe you're still finishing up. Finish up all your tosses, and then we'll see how many you have, and then we'll set it up again, all right? So let's set it up for round two. All right, for round two, once you get it all set up, we're going to start from the farthest ball and work our way closer, all right? So don't forget, whatever hand has the ball, that leg that it taps stays still, okay? It stays back, all right? And that's how we're going to underhand toss. We're going to step in opposition and toss. Okay, are we ready? Start way back on your mark, get set, and go. Ooh, I missed. End of round two, set it up again. Okay, for round three, you get to start anywhere you want, and you can go in any order you want. Don't forget, five push-ups if you miss, five jumping jacks if you make it. All right, I'm gonna start with this one, ball number two. All right, on your mark, get set, go. of a warm-up. Now what I want you to do is to take all the soft balls or toys or balls that you have and I want you to go and set up your container. I'll keep it right here where you guys can still see. Okay and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk, put your toes right by your container and walk five steps back. And this is where you're gonna start from. If you have the tape, you can make a tape line right here on the floor, or you can just put a 
a scarf right down there so you know where you need to stand. And we're gonna practice your underhand tossing to a target. So put all the balls down, take one in your hand that you're gonna start with. And remember, step in opposition, get low and underhand toss. Okay, I missed my first one. Grab the second ball. Ooh, I made that one. All right, number three. Step in, get low. All right, made that one, last one. Here I go. Step in opposition, get low. Ooh, I missed two and I made two. So get all your balls again. And let's go back to our line. Go back to your scarf. And let's try again. So, if when you're throwing, the ball ends up rolling on the ground and it doesn't get in the air, that means that you need to release the ball a little later. You need to release the ball closer to your chin and not release it so low to the ground so it rolls, okay? You wanna release it higher by your chin so it goes up into the air, all right? If the balls that you're throwing or socks are going way super high and hitting the ceiling, that means you need to release the item sooner. So you don't wanna release the ball way up here because then it will just hit the ceiling, hit the fan, and you might get in trouble. I hope you don't. So be very careful, go slow, especially if you have a tennis ball or something that's hard. I want you to lightly toss it and let it go right about at your chin. All right, I made that one. Let it go at my chin level, good. And I have two more, all right, let's stand up. So you should have your four or five items and let's just practice. All right. Continue to practice and once you can make all the balls into your basket, all four or five into the basket on one try, awesome. Let me know how many steps back you got. So if I make all the balls in the basket at five steps away, then I'm gonna take six steps away. So one more step back and then try it again. And if you make six steps back and you still get all the balls in the basket, take another step back. If you're at five steps away and you haven't been able to make all the balls in the basket, take one step closer. So now come only four steps away from the basket and give it a try. I want you to tell me in the comments how many steps away from the basket did you get all four in, all right? Can't wait to hear from you, bye.